Hi guys, it's Justin from the Nerdy Loft channel, back uh, with another Magic the Gathering Arena video. Uh, this time I'm going to play a little bit of Standard. Uh, I've got a deck built uh, called Torbrand Face, which uh, in the Standard meta uh, is a pretty common deck. Uh, I've got a bit of a variant on it, I guess, but um, the whole idea of the deck is, you know, revolves around Torbrand. Uh, Torbrand is a legendary creature. Uh, any red sources you control uh, that would deal damage to an opponent or a permanent and a permanent controls it deals that much damage plus two instead so we're doing an additional two damage so our ones become threes our twos become fours uh, it's hugely powerful and because it affects um, uh, damage to the face as well we can use things like brimstone trebuchet which we can tap for one damage to each opponent, uh, that becomes three damage. Um, we can, you know, look at Spear Spewer, tap him for one damage to each player, so that's going to be another three damage. So if we've got a few of these really cheap, you know, one mana, I guess Brimstone Trebuchets, three mana, um, I, I kind of like Brimstone Trebuchet as a defender. Uh, it's a 1-3 three for 3. Um, we augment a lot of that with Cavalcade of Calamity. We've got a bunch of 1, ma uh, uh, one power creatures. Um, anytime our 1 power or less creatures attack, Cavalcade deals 1 damage to the player or Planeswalker and it's attacking. So... If we've got Torbrand out, that's all of a sudden doing three damage. Scampering Scorchers are one ones. They create two one ones, so that's going to trigger Cavalcade of Calamity even further. Chandra Spitfire is going to trigger Cavalcade. Uh, Chandra Spitfire buffs even further when damage to the face occurs, which Cavalcade of Calamity is doing. Scorch Spitters doing damage to the face every time it attacks, and it's a one one, so it's going to trigger Cavalcade of Calamity further as well. Um, Castle Lembreth is going to add plus one if we ever need it. Uh, Dwarven Mine is going to trigger some more one ones for us. So overall, uh, you know, we can use the shocks if we need to as well uh, to trigger damage to the face to get Chandra Spitfire buffed. Uh, Wildfire Elementals are in here as well to give us plus ones for uh, um, whenever non-combat damage is being is dealt. Um, so yeah, overall, it's a pretty effective deck. It's I've mostly been running it in a best of one. Sometimes uh, play it in best of three. Don't have a sideboard uh, primarily, given that deck is uh, you know I, I play it best of one. Um, but yeah, that's the deck. Let's see what we can do. Okay. So we're going to play uh, pretty light on land, so we're going to mulligan pretty heavy on land, so we don't really want to take another hit on the mulligan, so we'll probably just go with this once our opponent is ready, ditch her land, and let's see what we can do. Or Bram. That's nice. Play the second land. We're going to have to go... Maybe we're just going to have to wait until turn four Torbran. Um, Chandra doesn't have any triggers. Scampering Scorcher is a one that will benefit from Torbran, but Torbran's got to be out, so I don't know. I mean, we can play, Ch we can play Chandra just to ch play, play the Chandra Spitfire just to get some, some sort of board state um, we've got a a blocker that can deal with the paradise druid at least that'll prevent that attack two tour brands all right so we're on turn four we can play scampering scorcher probably should have played the tour brand first just gets sacked 
Chandra can go in for one for Spitfire. Mm, interesting that Druid doesn't attack. That's fine. So we're going to play the Castle. And the uh, Spear Spear. If we can get another Tor Brand down... Here we go. We can do something here. Um, all right, brazen borrower. Fair enough. Table of mystery. Pretty, um, pretty useful card to get the scry action. So, uh, Nissa. So they're gonna untap a land. We're just going to have to accept that. So we'll try the Tor Brand again. They didn't have... They don't have any mana to negate this or can't, uh, counter that in any way. So we'll get that back down. Now we're getting face damage going on. That's four damage to Nissa, Plus the two from Tor Brand, that's six. So we can take care of Nissa pretty easily with the swing of the Spitfire. They get a scry. Are they going to keep all their mana open? Going to come in for the attack. The swing with the 3-3 three, three breeding pool. Uh, not sure about that. We should be able to block that with the Torbrand. Yeah, or just sack the, the Dwarf, yeah. It'll take care of it. Alright. Lava Coil. Uh, that'll trigger Chandra Spitfire if we do face damage. Or we just get the Spear Spewer happening. So that'll trigger the Chandra Spitfire. Night pack ambusher, or okay. Attacking with the Spitfire. Probably could have castled there for an extra damage, but it's fine. So, Brazen Borrower. So, they've got a direct blocking counter in the Brazen Borrower for the Chandra Spitfire now. Um, with the 3 power to 3 toughness on the Spitfire. We should be able to wrap this up. We could just Lava Core to the face and be done with it. Actually, Lava Coil is creature only, so that's fine. Take care of the Brazen Borrower. Uh, okay, so that's going to get cancelled by the Frilled Mystic. Okay. Swing in again. <clears throat> pretty, pretty daring move here, attacking with the Torbrand. Given the Night Pack Ambusher is out, that could easily take it out. <clears throat> Decides not to, for some reason. And next turn, we can win the game with the Spear Spewer.
They don't have a play here. They're going to untap another land, but it's not going to be enough. Rather than drag it out, let's just end it. Okay. So, game one. Yeah, I mostly play best of one with this deck, so there's no sideboard. <clears throat> just wait for our opponent to finish sideboarding here. Okay. That's besides the double tor brand, which we can work with that. Uh, plenty of land. Hope we can draw some one drop uh, one ones. More land. That's no, not what we want, but we're going to be waiting for a turn four tor brand here. So, not sure what they're doing here with Sorcerer Spyglass. <clears throat> He's going to try and... So he targets the Torbrand. But Torbrand isn't an activated ability. So, it's not going to do anything. Torbrand's still going to do its 3 damage. Or its ex extra 2 damage. So, I think he's just misunderstood the card there. Play our third land. Play the Chandra. The Spitfire. Quenches that, okay. Fair enough. So our next play is Wildfire Elemental. Or, yeah, let's play one of the Torbrands. We've got plenty of them. <clears throat> Alright, so he counters one. Gets to Surveil. We'll play another one. How many counters can he have? He's got three mana open. We can risk another one. <clears throat> We're just going to pass. Just waiting to see what he does with his mana. Still keeps them open, so he's got a counter there. Play Spear Spewer. One drop. He's thinking about it, but... Okay. Does he counter? Yes, he does. <clears throat> We've got one more Torbrand. There's another one in the deck. There's four in the deck, so... We play the game of how many counters does he have playing Simic deck. He's probably got a lot. We'll just see what we can do with our little dwarf here. <laughs> Buff him up uh, with a plus one. Spear Spewer can't attack because it's a defender. Okay. Returns the Brazen Borrower. Tokens can't be returned. They're not cards. They're um, not permanent. Growth Spiral. Gets another land out. 
Okay, so all the lands are tapped so we can get the Torbrand out safely. Now, with the Spear Spewer dealing face damage, it's going to trigger the Wildfire Elemental for a plus one buff. We'll play another one of them, play the Spear Spewer to trigger the face damage again, and then go all in. Alright, so this extra Wildfire is going to get Frilled Mystic. Buff what we have. Okay. Yeah, he just doesn't realize the Sorcerer Spike last doesn't do anything for Torbrand here. So, that's kind of what loses him this game. <clears throat> we don't have really much left. We're down to one card. Opponent's got 6th, 7th with the Brazen Borrower sitting there. Plays an Aether Gust to send our Torbrand back a turn. Before the Torbrand leaves, we'll get uh, another 3 points of damage in with the Spear Spewer. Aether Gust the Torbrand, so yeah, we'll put it back on top. Uh, actually, we've got another one, so we send it back. Scorch Spitter comes out. And we play the Torbran. He's only got two mana open. That's not enough for... for any counter action. Aether Gusts instead. We'll, we'll put that back on top. It's our last Torbrand. <clears throat> so, even without the Torbrand, we may have this if he can't cast another creature to block the Scorch Spitter. We'll get one damage in with the Spear Spewer, one from the Scorch Spitter, and one from the Scorch Spitter's face damage. That'll be the three we need. So he's he's done. All right, he's going to flick the scorch spitter back. So he's buying himself a little bit more time. We've got enough mana to cast these though, so we can just get him back out. He has bought himself another turn, but at this point it's too late. The Torbrand is out. The scorch spitter can do three damage, so. He concedes. And that's the game. Well, thanks to everyone for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.